friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is react js full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the previous episode we learned all about props what are props how do we pass data from parent to child component what are the different types of data type values that we can send we can send string integer boolean etc but let's say in some cases in real time our parent does not have a value to send to a child component. What should happen in that case with the props? We can't leave the application guessing. That's exactly why we need to set default props. Whenever we define props, it's always a good practice to have some default props set up. That way, your application will have the certainty and you know what would be the expected outcome. That's what we are learning today. This is part 16 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 15 parts, I'll request you to kindly go through them. You would have continuity and you can learn and master React with me. All right, so how do we set the default props is the topic today. Default props are a way to provide fallback values, right? That means when a value is not explicitly passed from the parent, how do you set the default value? Let's go ahead and do the hands-on. So this is what we did in the last uh, previous episode, which is um, we created a component called bank. And all it was doing was taking the params and rendering it. So we, these were the props we were passing, background color, text color, active. But if you look, take a look at these two components that we are calling here, it's the same component, we are calling it twice. I'm passing a prop called text color, but I'm not passing it here. I'm passing a value called active, but I'm not passing to the first one. In this case, your application may end up behaving differently. That's why we need to have a default value. And how exactly we can do that, let's go ahead and learn. So first I'm going to fork this export default here and put it at the end and export the component at the end. Now, the way we can set default props is by setting default props equal to this is where we'll define all the props that we have. Let's say background color. Let's say I want the default background color to be PG info. That means when no value is passed, use this value. Same thing for text color. I'm saying if nothing is passed, use the default, which is text black. And then active should be true by default. Okay, so now I have set the default prop values. Even if I don't send some value, let's say here, it would still take these values as applicable. Let's go ahead and check in our application. All right, so you can see it is taking the black color, which is by default. So let's go ahead and change that. Um, I'm going to make it success, which means now I'm expecting it to be green color if things don't work. Now you can see when I refresh, it is showing green color. Now similarly, for the text background info, I'll say I want BG dark, right? Uh, BG dark, but it, we are already passing the value, so it's overriding them, right? You can see here, these are the default values, but if we pass a value, it will override. Now let's say I'm not passing a background color value here. Right? I'm only passing one prop. So now you can see it has applied the dark color. So that's how we can use default props. So you define the component dot default props and all the values that you want to set the initial values. All right. Simple, straightforward, nothing complicated. I hope it's clear. But do let me know if you have any questions or queries in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. In the next episode, we will learn yet another important topic, which is a conditional rendering. When often you're working on a real time project, you will run into cases where you have to conditionally render the view or the markup. I'll show you a lot of variations of it that can be implemented. So join me in the next episode. I hope you're having fun learning this series. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.